Hi friends, in this video we can discuss about the website supporting Odoo 15. The Odoo provides a simple way to create website easily. So we can check how we can use that feature. So for that I am using the school management module. Inside that module I just created a controller folder. Inside the control folder, I just added a main.py. Inside that, I just um, created a class called Academy. And inside that, I inherited from the HTTP.controller. And I just added a root slash custom and provided the website as true. If we need to use the uh, website template, we need to provide the, uh, we need to set the website flag as true and I just defined a function inside the function I am just adding more lines I am just adding student data student equal to http School dot student students dot search. <laughs> I am getting the all data into all the student data into the student variable, and I am returning that student variable to a our custom website. So HTTP dot request dot render so we we need to provide some arguments we need to provide the template id uh, and we can and we need to provide the data we are sending so uh, we can provide the external id of the template uh, at last we can now we can uh, provide the student data student so next we need to provide the template for that I just created a uh, template.xml file inside the um, src file so we can go to that inside that we can provide the template you can provide the ID. I'm just providing the ID as index. And I am just decoding the uh, web dot in layout, website dot layout. And I am providing the uh, providing a title for this website. T set equal to title. Providing students. And after this title, I'm just opening a div and providing the class as oe underscore oe underscore structure inside that div i am just opening another div and providing the uh, class as container container inside this div i am just looping through the data we passed from the controller so that is t for each equal to sorry for each we can uh, go to the python file and be passing the student so for each student and t as sorry we can change this to student from we can change this to students students Student. and we can um, 
display the items in the UI. So I am just opening a UL inside the UL. I am just adding a line mm. and I am setting T T S student dot name. student dot name and we can provide we can uh, define this xml in the in here index we need to provide the module name I'm copying this school management dot index and i just added this template in the manifest so we can uh, rerun this we can rerun and upgrade the module So we can go to the uh, root. We can check the root. Root is custom. So we can put them here. Here we can see all the student details will be listed here. This way we can simply create a website or we can simply display the contents in website very easily. So we can simply call the website dot layout. We need to we need to make sure the website flag is set to true so i hope you got the idea about this thank you for watching